campaign is against building of nuclear plant in Belarus in Ostrovets. It's done by Russian money and it's done in Belarus on the border with European Union. So it means that this is a direct threat not only to people of Belarus but to all people of uh, Europe. Uh, reactor building of nuclear power plant in Belarus uh, started to construct without architectural plan, without a license, that there are big uh, violations of international law, of technical norms in the construction, that they have to stop this construction and uh, at least, at minimum, they have to correct the errors. We do this campaign also in support of uh, talk fracking because uh, there is a huge campaign going on uh, supported by Vivian Westwood and Joe Court and Lush. We stay very firmly for transparency. People need to understand what's happening with their lives, with their water and their air that's around them. Fracking is a highly destructive process because it uses huge volumes of water mixed with some very nasty toxic chemicals that are pumped down into the ground at such high pressures that it fractures the rock and then the gas is released and then brought back up to the surface. Our actors who perform in Red Forest, together with free runners, British free runners, uh, will cover this bridge in red cloth, uh, making drawing that red line that it's important for us not to cross. Hopefully that red line will connect everyone on that bridge and will connect all people from different countries of the world who will pass by today this bridge with their families, with their children, and together we hope to achieve changes. Citizens of Belarus uh, suffered from Chernobyl, and they still suffer, and it is very serious for us because a lot of people died from cancer, from th thyroid cancer. And it is impossible in, and unbelievable that government is trying to construct a new nuclear power plant because a new nuclear power plant will produce, uh, produce uh, nuclear contamination of environment. Those chemicals will leak into the groundwater, poisoning our environment. Um, they have uh, effects such as um, create birth defects, um, rare forms of brain cancer, all kinds of intestinal and di digestive problems and some pretty nasty illnesses. But government told us no, we have taken decision already and uh, your opinion is not important for us. The government has no democratic mandate to be putting this thing through. Nobody voted for this. This is going to be happening over 65% of the UK landmass. So it's something that's coming to you. Really what we're trying to do is spread this symbol uh, around the eye, the line around the eye, as a symbol of resistance against dangerous energy and against dangerous forms of energy. Um, and we are, you know, wherever you are from the world, you can suffer from this problem. <laughs> you know, they've got the nuclear plant uh, on the border of Belarus, but then we have fracking here in the UK. So really, it's about waking people up to the fact that they can resist these dangerous forms of energy. They can fight for the future, and they can use this symbol around the eye to join a movement that is globally spreading resistance against climate change, dangerous forms of energy. Nine months ago, I didn't know anything about fracking. Um, somebody uh, that I bumped into said that I should look into it and as I started to scratch the surface of you know, the information that was there, I became extremely concerned and actually very shocked. Um, and I think that anybody that does the same thing and actually starts to investigate deeply what this thing really means will come to the same conclusions. It is very important this process of petitions because on the internet site change.org, this site could, uh, they usually send these petitions and these uh, signatures to the government. And uh, as I know, on the example of other petitions, our government listen. They do not do something very important, but they know for, for them it is additional pressure. There is one very simple thing to do is uh, to go on uh, belarusfreetheatre.com and there is a sign there, sign our petition.